is a very special month, February. They call it the month of love. And um, we'll, be, we'll be talking precisely that, love. My name is B. Wall, and I've got some two very awesome people. I'll quick, quickly allow them to introduce themselves. We'll start with the lady. I'm Manuela, married, eight years, two children. Okay, uh, my name is Buni, uh, married, uh, two years, soon. Um, yeah, I'm a professional life eater. Professional <laughs> life eater. <laughs> so quite clearly, these are people who have been there, seen it, done it, and they're wearing the t-shirt. Mm. First of all, the idea of Valentine's Day, um, some people say it's a fraud, you know. Uh, where do you lie on that? A you beautiful mean? day in the year. Oh, beautiful day. Buni, what do you think? I think it's a fraud. So it's a fraud to singly pick out one day. Okay. But it's, uh, it's not a fraud to singly pick out your birthday. So how would it be <laughs> a fraud to singly, singly pick out a day to just celebrate the notion of love? The birthday is unique to you. Fourteen okay. Feb. Okay, okay. listen, listen. Be before you exchange we'll fight. punches, yeah, <laughs> we'll fight. I, feel, I feel like a, you know there's a fight coming on here. Okay. But um, the proponents for Valentine's Day say that listen, if I'm a person who doesn't really express my love too much, there is a day when I have an opportunity to dig deep and do something special and unique for my partner. Why would you be against that? We have no objections to that. Personally, I have no objection to it. But there is no way we're going to condition everyone to think that this one particular day we should splash it into other people's faces. It's like waking up to the same text over something else. It's one single day you're going to come up and everyone, everywhere, there is useless red everywhere, useless black everywhere. So, so I should not find you celebrating Christmas, please. <laughs> I should No, no, Bonnie, we have to agree. But um, there is a worry that Valentine's Day has become more commercial than uh, sentimental. One, first of all, it depends on the kind of chick you're dating. Yeah. Uh, as, as, as a woman, mm -hmm. right? Your husband, let's say, let's assume he's not the most expressive person out there, mm -hmm. but he chooses Valentine's Day to write you, you know, this beautiful letter and send you these rose flowers. And surely that's a, that's a good thing. The, thing, the thing about, I get you, and it's a good thing, but the, here's but, the thing, mm -hmm. the, the way, the way Valentine's works is, is just like a birthday. It's the birthday of love, right? So the entire year you should have been in a kind certain, build, yes, building okay, and okay. building this love relationship that you have. Yeah. So I don't know why a man would be there and say, me, I don't know how to express love. No, 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 no. <laughs> my, my real, my, my real problem. expresses love. Okay. Yeah. So, so your real problem My is? real problem is the basic assumption society has that love is a one-way street. The also, two of you also, have been also. talking about and everything is about what the man is doing, what okay. the man is okay. doing. But? So Valentine's is that day that one, one species has decided to think is their second birthday. So the women look at it thinking that it's a form of entitlement that is enshrined. They feel it's a birthright. Bonnie, and I'm that's the real ah, problem. Bonnie, Bonnie, which chicks wait, wait, are you hold dating? Up, hold up, hold up. No, no, no. I'm not dating, I'm okay, married. Yes. I am married and I am no, comfortable no, 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 and happy. Your notion, no, no, happy your notion must, uh, so that's the problem. I, I'm, not, I'm saying this on the other way around because mm. most times you'll hear guys complain saying, you know, uh, we are tired of receiving socks for our birthdays and stuff like that. It's unfortunate. Let me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me bring a, a slight twist to this whole okay. thing. We live in an era that is dominated by social media, okay? And, and we can't run away from the fact that as much as you may want to practice love a certain way with your partner, it's influenced by what you see online. Do you not worry that social media is going to push people to do things that they would otherwise not have done or somehow push them to become people who they, who they are not just because of this Valentine's Day. It Don't should have. But that, social media is already doing that for everything. Mm -hmm. It's doing that for my marriage. It's doing that for my children. It's doing that for my... So what like is, it's, what, it's, what it's, it's happening some... anyway, whether or not there is Valentine's. So it's about the, ori the person themselves. If, if they can be swayed by what's going on, and I'm okay being swayed by a Range Rover being delivered at me. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hello to the husband. Uh, <laughs> by a Range Rover being delivered. I know he has had that. He's uh, had that. So uh, we know. I, don't, I mean, it's okay because after all I'm, the rest of my life just because of social media almost everything in our lives is affected it comes to the person themselves Bunny, and Bunny, their um, value system your, your, your partner is in whatsapp groups with females right possibly so um, she talks to these other females and your your for lack of another word, nonchalant when it comes to, to Valentine's. You're like, you know, if it happens, it, it happens. If it doesn't, does it? And she's in this group with these other females who have men that have pulled out full pages in the newspaper to express their love. They've put up billboards and you're there being nonchalant. Doesn't that disturb you? Personally, I 
do not in any way have the slightest liking okay. to have one day dictate and program my love. Follow that up with a but. But. That's okay. <laughs> Thank you. I knew that was coming. But I knew that was coming. For the sake of emotionally validating what she expects Making from the basically. society as you've said the whatsapp groups mm -hmm. the work mm -hmm. and everything mm -hmm. i'll set aside possibly get a delivery company around they'll go and do that stuff what do you think the everyday girl should have at the back of her mind as call it a bare minimum all right call it call it um something that any any man out there mm -hmm. can and should be able to do i i would basically say mm -hmm. um I'll say the love languages again. Love language. On love this language. day, on this day as a woman, yeah. the basic I would get is for someone to express love to me the way I know how. Oh, okay. Not okay. the way you know as a hubby, not no. the way you think, uh, you know. not, the, not way the way the world Facebook says, Twitter, not the way Facebook says, WhatsApp, not even yeah. what I have said. Mm. Yeah, okay. because sometimes I'm saying Range Rover, but that's not but, that true. Yeah, yeah. But that's but it's, it's also, also the truth. <laughs> <laughs> it's also that's the truth. Okay. 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 The way you can know how the, the way somebody receives love is the way they are giving it to you. I know over the years you've had experiences of guys kind of trying to get out of the whole Valentine's thing. <laughs> what are some of the craziest excuses you've had? Uh, Manuela, what craziest excuse have you had? Um, and Buni, what crazy excuses have you heard from guys um, in an attempt to get out of <laughs> that thing called Valentine? I think I, I think someone coming up to say, you know, I, I didn't see it in the news, you know, I, I didn't know oh. anything about the day. I didn't see it in the news, was not in the papers before. I didn't know it's a public holiday or something like that. Yeah, so some of the things that you got, my mom is sick, I'm in hospital, uh, yeah. I got an accident, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, and my phone, you know. <laughs> But listen, um, whatever your love language is, express it whichever way you know how. And like the two of them are saying, love is very personal, you know. It's not best on what's on social media and whatnot. And speaking of love, um, DFCU has some pretty cool things. They've got some love they're giving you. Uh, make sure to follow their pages on Facebook, on Twitter, and Instagram. And you just might get some love, especially for those folks who might be solo. My name is B-Wog. I've had Manuela and Buni. This is the gist look.